Before my bar mitzvah, the Rebbe was still alive, I went to pick up a, a letter from the Rebbe. You get the letter, uh, everyone would get the letter, it would be the it would be a typical nosach for everyone, and then you would have the Rebbe's signature, which I got the signature of the Rebbe's secretary, because the Rebbe wasn't feeling good then. We don't know what stage he was at, but it was before. So the Bar Mitzvah was in Cheshvin at the same year. Thomas was when he passed away. So we got letters from the Rebbe's secretaries, which come, is very interesting. Why don't we get letters from the same secretaries if the Rebbe was not really with it, what's the difference if he's not with it or, or he passed away? What's really the difference? Why can't we continue getting those letters? Um, I went on a trip to Israel uh, and I visited my Zaydi's caver and I bent over. I had one of those, what they called a razor phone, Motorola razor, I think it was called, and I used that, to, I had a camera in it. It's a picture that I still have till today. And I bent over and I kissed the tomb. And I do remember my Zaydi, one time I met him when he was alive. So I posted the photo for my family. It was, I used, there was no WhatsApp then, I used Facebook and whatever. And my older brother, who was kind of like the cold rationalist, he asked me, what, you knew him? Like, what are you kissing? Uh, what, are you, what are you acting all? You knew him? And the answer was, I don't know if he really noticed that, but when I was seven years old, I went to Israel, and I remember every single word he said to me, and I sat with him in his uh, living room in Ramla, and my bubby made some cake for me, a kugel, and my zayde. And then I heard things about him that were very interesting. He wasn't particularly happy that we were Lubavitch. But he was a Yid, a Talmud Chacham, and he was a Chassid of no one. And I heard other stories. I heard a story from my cousins in Kfar Chabad that they said that he would come visit Kfar Chabad and learn Chabad Chassidus. Eh, true, not, doesn't really matter. But here's the irony. Here's the... Uh, the logic guy, the big smart ass, was like, hey, you knew him? I don't know how much I knew him. I don't know how much I know my own friends from class. If we're lucky, we get to meet and talk and chill. But uh, it's my Zaydi. If I went over to the Rebbe's caver and I wrote a letter as if I really have a relationship to him, and he's, of course, he's a shliach and he's a big... Uh, thinks he's a hot shot. He's always been a, whatever, listen, he's, he's, he's entitled to feel uh, self-respect. So he asked, basically it was an inappropriate question. He should have asked the question when I go to the Lubavitcher Rebbe Tzian. Did you know the guy? The guy was good with the masses. He had no close friends. He wasn't a family guy. He didn't have children or grandchildren. He, um, you, you, you could, even if the Rebbe one day woke up and said, I want to be your friend, could you trust the guy? Does he have a history? Does he have experience with having friends? He was good with the masses. He loved people in big numbers. He liked fame. He liked being, uh, you know, if he couldn't get fame in Borough Park, he tried to get it in, uh, in Morocco. He went wherever you could possibly hit. And he succeeded, but he was a failure uh, compared to other religious gurus. He was a great, he, he hasn't accomplished much with his, uh, with his discipline and his talent. What'd you get? Couldn't even convince the Jews, you know what I mean? Not the Bnei Teide and not the intellectuals, so what? So I kissed my Zaydis Kever and my older brother, who is a big follower of the Rebbe, not a big follower, it's just too late in life for him to, to, to realize that he made a mistake. And it's not too late, because many, many are doing it. He might just be the last one off the boat. You knew him? About my Zaydi. But if I went to the Rebbe and I kissed the Tzian and I wrote a letter as if the guy's reading it and he's not even alive, oh, that's normal. 